The artist Lizzo did something very bad according to conservatives. What did she do exactly? Well, see for yourself. Not seeing why that was controversial? Well, that's probably because your brain hasn't been rotted yet. But according to conservatives, the ultimate sin that she committed was twerking while playing James Madison's 200-year-old flute. This is what they're up in arms about. I kid you not. So Ben Shapiro, for some reason, decided to rant about this for two minutes long, probably longer, but this is the clip that's circulating online. And he's going to explain why this is absolutely beyond the pale. The first clip, totally uncontroversial. The one that actually made the rounds, however, was her twerking, because it is the contrast. That's the whole point that they are making. And commentators were saying this. It is the contrast between Lizzo, a significantly overweight African-American musician, right? Because the idea is that it's groundbreaking for an African-American musician to play James Madison, the, the found, one of the founders of the Constitution, to play his flute. That's the groundbreaking aspect. But really, it isn't even her race, right? They tried to make it about her race. It isn't really her race because I'm sure that if they had wanted to find a better flautist who is black than Lizzo, I'm sure that there are many black flautists who are significantly better than Lizzo, right? They play in orchestras around the world. I'm sure they are wonderful. And so if the, if the idea was just going to be, we are going to take a historic instrument that belonged to a white Southerner who was in charge of founding the Constitution, and we are going to have a very talented African-American black person play that, that would have been really uncontroversial. Like, seriously, it'd be the equivalent of if, if, let's say, that George Washington had had a harpsichord and we had had Condoleezza Rice go and play the harpsichord. Like, everyone, like, okay, all right, fine. Okay, but it is the twerking that does it. Understand it's the twerk. It, it is about the twerking. The story is solely and completely about the twerking, which is why you didn't see the first video. The first video has a few views. The one of her playing very nicely in the Library of Congress while dressed somewhat decently. It is the second video where she is twerking and wearing skimpy outfits with the flute that is because the idea is to degrade the culture. That is what people that that is why the clip is viral. The reason the clip is viral is the contrast between a person twerking and the idea of a of a an extraordinarily classy instrument, a historic instrument that speaks to sort of the gentility of America's founders being brought into a context that is vulgar. It's the vulgarization of American history. Again, Lizzo did both, and only one of those clips went viral. And so if you notice that, then you're very, very bad. If you notice that, then this means that you're some sort of racist, or it means that you don't want black people playing the flute or something. No, I just don't want people twerking with historic instruments. I just don't want people twerking with historical instruments. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen mass conservative hysteria and pearl clutching over something so goddamn stupid. I care so little about that flute. Lizzo could jerk it off and then shove it all the way up her ass, pull it out, snap it over her knee, then stomp on it. And I still would not give a shit about that fucking flute. How can you possibly conjure up enough rage to say anything about this? But he talked right there for two minutes about how terrible that is. He called it uh, a, hist a historically classy instrument that speaks to the sort of gentility of America's founders being brought into the context that is vulgar. It's the vulgarization of American history. Ben, she played the flute. Are you really that angry about this? I'm honestly more offended, if I'm offended at anything, at Ben Shapiro's beard. That uh, that offends me more than Lizzo playing the flute, literally. I just, it's so bizarre to me. Do conservatives ever try to care about real things? 
Well, of course not, because Ben Shapiro wasn't alone. He also wasn't done here because he took to Twitter to write, this Lizzo flute controversy is a perfect example of what I have termed face tattoo phenomenon. Oh, okay. The phenomenon whereby someone does something deliberately controversial in an attempt to draw attention and then acts offended when you notice. Oh, so they're offended because you're offended. You see what he's doing here? A little bit of a switcheroo. They are such clowns. But let's get to the other reactions here from conservatives. Matt Walsh wrote, simply desecrating American history just for the sake of it. He adds, actually, it's not just for the sake of it. There's a very clear point here to send the message that our heritage and history are meaningless and that nothing we love or care about has any value. The Columbia Bugle wrote, a humiliation ritual. They don't care about our history. They just want to mock and defile it. GOP strategist Greg Price chimed in saying, the Library of Congress really took out a two 200-year-old flute that belonged to James Madison just so Lizzo could twerk with it. They degrade our history and then call you racist if you actually value it. Trump sycophant and influencer Nick Adams wrote, Lizzo isn't talented enough to play music on a 20-year-old Yamaha plastic recorder off Amazon, let alone a crystal flute once owned by James Madison. The Biden administration is making a mockery of this country. Failed GOP congressional candidate Andrew McCarthy says, Everyone involved in the decision to allow Lizzo to twerk while playing James Madison's flute needs to be deported. I don't care if they're citizens. Deport them somewhere. I love how there's this implication that the Library of Congress was like, ooh, you know what we should do? We should give this flute to Lizzo and then make her twerk while she's playing it. That'll really rile up the conservatives. They probably just let her play it because she's a very famous artist who also happens to know how to play the flute. And I love how Nick Adams is like, oh, she's not very talented. She's not very talented, really. She's objectively a very talented singer. Whether or not you enjoy her music, that's a different question. But to deny that she's talented is, I think, just foolish. It shows that you're trying to cope by claiming she's not talented. But probably the second most ridiculous reaction came from Jenna Ellis, Trump attorney, who um, had some really interesting things to say. What happened? And if you haven't watched the video, um, do so at your own risk, because, you know, Lizzo is basically famous, I think, for being one of the most morbidly obese people in the world who claims that she's oppressed. And yet, you know, she's like a multimillionaire and, um, you know, very famous. But she gets on stage in this really hideous outfit that is wildly inappropriate. And th apparently the, is it like the Smithsonian or the National Archives or something actually allowed her to be the first person in United States history to play the crystal flute from James Madison. I mean, this is just desecration purposefully of America's history. Now, I'm not sure if you caught it, but the reason why I wanted to play that video for you was because she literally prefaced playing that clip with a trigger warning. She provided conservative viewers with a trigger warning and also claimed that it was the desecration of American history. Again, it's a flute. But remember, these are the same people who get outraged whenever they see depictions of the flag being burned. It's literally a piece of material. It has no value other than intrinsic value. Maybe it doesn't mean to you what it means to other people, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't lose its value to you because other people use that material in a way that you perceive it to be vulgar. This just doesn't matter. Like This is not an important story. But this just goes to show you how clownish and cartoonishly immature and unserious conservatives are. If they all in unison screech about something as inconsequential as Lizzo twerking while playing the flute, it goes to show you why nobody should take them seriously because they don't actually care about real issues affecting American people. These are the things that they're concerned with. They clutch their pearls over an artist playing a fucking flute. Who cares? It's a flute. Get over it, snowflakes. Holy shit. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait,